What's up everybody? This is Silent Slayer. Welcome back to another P Battle League video. So guys, from today Ultra League has started. So in this video, I'm going to show you like my top five best team of Ultra League, which can help you gain more elo points in our Battle League. So in this video, I'm going to show you like two battle of each team. So team one, we have Mel Metal, we have Toge Case, we have Polybrat. In the move set of guys, Mel Metal, we have Thunder, Shock, Rock Slide, and Super Power. Toge Case, we have Charm, Asian Power, and Flamethrower. And uh, Polybrati have Mudshot, Skull, and Dynamic Prince. In this team, I use Mel Metal as a lead and have Safe Soft for Togekiss and Coverage and Finisher for Polybrati. So, here we go, let's go for the first match. It's Mel Metal versus Opshagun. As you can see, it's like bad shot. I'm gonna directly change to Togekiss, but upon him, like the another counter is like the Metagross. And the Metagross is like the Bullet Plunge, Bullet Plunge and Meteor Match are super effective against me, but as you can see, it's the Psychic one. It's quite rare to see a Psychic one. Let's use the Rock's Asian Power, trying to bait down his shield. And yep, opponent just uses shield. Let's farm it down as much as he can with the charm because Toki is like almost gone. So let's bring out to Mel Metal and farm it down his health with the Thunder Shock. And I think it's in Psychic one, so not gonna use shield. Yep, not very effective. Let's farm it down his health with the Thunder Shock and let's over farm him. And let's use the Rock Slide and he got another Psychic ready. So we have like the two Super Power ready. I mean, I'm gonna deliver back to back on Opshagun. Let's see. Opponent uses it. Let's immediately switch to our Polywrath. Let's deliver one more dynamic punch, and I think dynamic punch is like one shot for him. And yeah, we got the option. Let's see your third Pokemon. As you can see, another counter Venus saw is like the frenzy plan one shot for Polyrath. So I'm gonna use my shield here because if I doesn't use shield, Polyrath will be gone. And Melmetal is like already in danger, so ha I have to deliver two dynamic punch back to back. And I have like one super power ready on one super power ready on a, a Melmetal. So let's use the dynamic punch and then immediately switch to our Melmetal. And let's give the super power and I think this one can knock him out and I know like Mel Met uh, Metagross is like the left on like low HP so we need to like one two or thunder shock to knock him out. Yep GG for us guys you can see with bad lead. So we're going to battle two with the team one. Mel Metal versus Cresselia. It's like an average start. Cresselia attack like grass, not moon black doesn't do much effect. Neither Mel Metal Rock Slide or Super Power. We got back to back rock slide, let's see. Opponent have the moon blast or grass not that's a like extended move of Priscilla, as you can see not very effective. I'm not gonna switch to my other Pokemon. Let's fight him with the Melmetal because Melmetal like the upper hand in front of Priscilla. See another moon blast. I think this rock slide knocked him out. And yeah, Priscilla just survived on Luachi, but we got him with the Thunder Shock. Let's see what second Pokemon he have. And he have Deoxys defense at Ultra League. So let's bring out let's bring out our pull. As you can see in this match I have like the Ice Puncher, but I strongly suggest you guys you, you should have like Scald and Dynamic Punch is like the standard moves and like a best move set of Polyrath. First I try with the Ice Punch, then I switch, then I change to Dynamic Punch. And Scald is like really helpful because sometimes like make your opponent attack well just like this one. Let's see if it will go back to you have like two attack fell, so I think. Let's see what he got the Thunderbolt. But as you can see, he got the Rock Slide. I thought he got with the Thunderbolt. But he had like the two attack fell, so Polyrath can survive. And yep, we got another Scarlet, and he just uses first shield now. So I'm gonna use my shield this time because I have to take it out because he got the Rock Slide and Rock Slide Thunderbolt both are like super effective against Togekiss here. And we got the Regis shield at the back. So let's deliver back to back Scarlet here. But Togo is like the not much effective against Regis shield. As you can see, we almost take it out like 50% of more than 50% of his health. So I'm gonna let it go Polyvath here and let's farm it down his health with the Togekiss charm. Because flamethrower is like takes some time, so we have to use the charm attack here. I'm gonna use my shield here because we go for the flash cannon, zap cannon, both are like super effective against him. And I hope I can farm it down his whole health with the charm. But as you can see, got another charge move ready. It's the flash cannon one, and Togekiss just survived on HP and he just switched to Yoxis Defend, but we should. Again, we just farm it down with the charms. So, GG for us, guys. So, moving on to team two. Team two, we have Beaver, Charizard, and uh, uh, Giratina. And the move set of Pokemon, guys. Beaver, we have Shadow Claw, Super Power, and Payback. Charizard, we have Fire Spin, Blast Burn, and Dragon Claw. And Giratina, we have Shadow Claw, Shadow Only One Charge, because you all know it takes like 100 candies and one like Stardust to give like another charge. I don't have like so much candies of Giratina. So in this team I use Bo as a lead and save soft for Charizard and coverage and finisher for Giratina. So here we go. Let's go for the first match. It's Bo versus Kenga. It's a good start for us because we got the Shadow Claw. And Bo is like the surprising opponent opponent for 
for opponent because Beaver, most people doesn't know Beaver charge move. You got the super power payback. As you can see, one payback is like one shot for him. You can see we have the, we got the super power also. And if he doesn't use shield, we almost got the obstacle. And yep, we got the obstacle. We got the extra deal at the back, and we got another super one. I think. Let's see. He's gonna use his shield. He's gonna let it go. And opponent just like the surrender because you know he can't win. He have only one Pokemon left. And Beaver just eat his whole team. So moving on to battle two with team two. Beaver versus Palkia. I think it's an Aqua Tail, so not gonna use shield. Beaver can survive. Let's over farm a little bit and use the payback. Yep, we got the Palkia. Let's see what he have. Mel Metal, and we got the Super Power also. So let's use the Super Power, and if it doesn't use it, like Super Effect, do some massive amount of damage. As you can see, we almost got the Mel Metal. Not gonna use my shield here because Beaver is like the already in danger. Let's farm it on Mel Metal, head with the Fire Spin. So GG for us guys. Let's see what third Pokemon he have. Like Togekiss and opponent just surrender. As you can see, it's like really quick team. So moving on to team three. Team three, we have Impolian, Togekiss, and Scalivor. Move set of Pokemon guys. So Impolian, we have Waterfall, Hydro Cannon, Drill Pack. Togekiss we have Charm, Ancient Power, Flame Throw, and Escalibur we have Counter, Drill Run, and Mega Horn. So in this team I use Empoleon as a lead and have safe swap for Togekiss and coverage and finisher for Escalibur. So here we go. Let's go for the Battle 1 with Team 3. And guys, if you like new on my channel, so please subscribe. And if you did subscribe, so watch my video till the end. Find some amazing teams. It's Empoleon versus Haddock. It's like a bad start for us because Haddock has caught the counter. Let's first use the. I know, like. Drill pack is like also super effective against him. Let's use the use the close combat if it doesn't use my shield here. Impolian will be gone. And the opponent just use shield as well. So let's switch to our Togekiss so farm it down with the charm and he just switched to Venus. So as you can see in this battle, I have like the only one charge move after this match. I have like, like give second charge move attack of Togekiss. Let's use the ancient power because what here we have only one charge move and opponent just use the shield because he thought I go for the flamethrower. So the opponent doesn't have any shield left and we got the advantage here. So let's bring out Escaliba and we need only like one Maghorn to knock him out and we know so attack like Sludge Bomb Frenzy Plant doesn't do any effect on Escaliba so not gonna waste shield here. Let's use the Maghorn and knock out the Venusaur. Let's see what you bring. Heracross is like almost gone. We need only like one or two counter to knock out Heracross and he just bring his Heracross because you got another close compact at least so I'm gonna use my shield here. And yep that's what, the, that's what I thought he have like another close compact. Let's use the I shouldn't go for the Mega Horn here because, because like do more damage than just trying to catch his move on Napoleon and yep, we just the catch of the match. We need only like one more drill run to knock out. We got the drill run and we got the wall rain here. So GG for us. So moving on to battle two. Team three, Empoleon versus Nido Queen. It's a good start for us because we got the waterfall. Let's see, I just catch my move on Polyrath. But then also we have Togekiss at the back, so let's switch to Togekiss and farm it on his old health with the charm. But Polyrath got, got also Ice Punch and Skull. Let's see what he got. He got the Skull. Do some damage, make my attack fell. And we got the Polyrath. Let's see what he brings. He definitely brings his Nido Queen here because he got the Poison Jab and Poison Fang. Make my Togekiss defense fell. I'm gonna let it go, Togekiss, and then again bring out Impoli and farm it on his health with the Waterfall. Let's see what third Pokemon he have. And I know he like Earth Power already. So definitely gonna use my shield here because Earth Power is like super effective against Empoleon because of ground type attack. And he has Seize at the back. So let's switch to our Escaliber immediately. And let's see what he got. I think definitely it's a Night Slash. So not very effective. Do some little amount of damage. Let's use the Drill Run. And Nidogen is like the almost gone. We need only like one more Waterfall to knock out the Nidogen. So we have to only take out Seize first. Again, got the Night Slash, and let's use the Drill. And if he doesn't, if he uses Shield, I have like the Hydro Cannon ready on Empoleon. But opponent doesn't use. The opponent just surrender. We need only like one Waterfall to knock out the Nido Queen. So GG for us. We're not gonna take any risk here. Let's use the Shield and bye bye Nido Queen. So moving on to Team Four. Team Four, we have like Travnet, Empoleon, and Diplosion. And the moveset of Pokemon, guys. Travnet, we have Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball, Seed Bomb, Empoleon, we have Waterfall, Hydro Cannon, Drill Pack. And Diplosion we have Incent Raid, Blast Burn and Solar Beam. So in this team I use Travenant as a lead and save soft for Empoleon and coverage and finish up for Diplosion. So as you can see guys Travenant got the lucky Travenant I have and I, I got the like the wrong IV on Travenant. I forgot to change so the real IV of Travenant in this team is like in the description you can check it. 
So it's Trevenant versus Drapion. It's like pretty bad start because Drapion definitely got the crunch and crunch is like super effective against it. Let's use the seed bomb and then switch to our Impolent but he got another charge move ready. So I think this one is the Aquadil but unfortunately got the crunch. Let's switch now to our Impolian and let's see what he got. Let's crunch again. Let's use the Hydro Cannon now and bye bye the Drapion if he doesn't use his shield. And yep, he got the Drapion. Let's see, I think he left something. Counter, that's why he doesn't use initially. You got the traveler at the bag also. Let's use the drill pack. And Impolian is like the really useful in ultra league. In every league, Impolian is like really useful. So I'm gonna let it go my Impolian here because I have the Diplosion at the back. And you got the wall rain. So let's use the direct solar beam. I hope he doesn't use his shield. It's like one shot for him, then switch to our Trevenant if he uses shield. And yep, he just uses shield. So I'm gonna let it go my Trevenant here. And then bring out again. Diplosion and we got like both the shield left. So I'm gonna use my shield here. So got another charge move ready. This time I, it's definitely in size like space. I'm not gonna use shield. We got the blast one ready. So let's use the blast one. I think this one can knock him out. And we have like the one more blast one for Trevenant. Let's use the blast one. And Trevenant is like the also weak against fire type. So GG for us guys with bad lead, but we win. Going on to battle two with team four. So Trevenant versus Togekiss. Again, it's an average start. But as you can see, Togekiss charm do the damage. And he almost take it out like 40% of my health. Let's use back-to-back -back Seed Bomb trying to bait down his shield and then go for the opponent's use shield. I hope I can deliver one more Shadow Ball. I'm gonna use my shield here. And let's deliver the Shadow Ball. I hope he uses his shield. So I have like the advantage. And yep, opponent, that's what I want. Opponent just use his shield. So let's bring out Diplosion and farm it on his whole health with the incinerant and I have like the load and energy for next Pokemon. I'm gonna use shield here. And then we got the like solar beam, blast, and both are like some strong move. And yeah, we got the Togekiss. So let's see what he bring. And he just bring his Swampert. Let's use the solar beam and Swampert is like the gone. Come and go. Let's see your third Pokemon. He like the Trevenant and we got the Blast one ready. And one shot for Blast one. So as you can see guys, really easy win because opponent just uses both the shield now. So moving on to Team 5. So Team 5 we have like the Ultra League Premier Class. If you Ultra League Premier Class, you can use like normal type Pokemon, not the legendary one. So in Team 5 we have like Premier Classic, we have Crobat, Wallin and Sawfish. In, in, in this team you can use only in Ultra. You can use also in Open Ultra League but it's like effective in Premier Classic also. The moveset of Pokemon guys, Crobat got the Air Slash, Poison Fang and Shadow Ball. Wallin we have Powder, Snow, Ice Lick, Spear and Earthquake. And Sawfish we have Counter, Night Slash and Leaf Blade. So in this team I use Crobat as a lead, save Saw for Wallin and coverage and finish here for Sawfish because Sawfish is like the Leaf Blade, Night is like the useful attack in Premier Classic. So we go, let's go for the first match, let's see what opponent got. And guys, it's like most of the people watch my video but they don't subscribe so it's like the one click away to subscribe my channel guys and I upload like daily BB content for you. So if you go, it's Crobat versus Swampert. It's like a bad start for us because Swampert, I don't can like at least take like my 50% of my health. Let's use the Shadow Ball, I hope he doesn't use Shield. And yeah, let's switch to Wallen trying to catch his move and yep, we just did the catch of the match. He got the Hydro Cannon, he just, opponent just wastes his energy. And I don't know why he switches to his Crobat because Crobat is like weak against Ice type. He just uses Shield and again let's go for the. And I think it's in Poison Fang, so but not gonna take this. Let's use the Shield. Let's use the another Ice Lick Spear. And opponent just uses both the Shield on his Crobat. So this time I'm not gonna use my Shield. Here. I'm gonna save Shield for last event because Selfish need Shield. Need Shield. Selfish like Squishy. We got the Crobat, let's see what he bring. Bring the Swampert, let's bring out our Crobat because I know he like the two Hydro Cannon ready. So first I'm gonna let it go Hydro Cannon on Crobat and then switch to Surfish can survive one Hydro Cannon also. I'm not gonna use Shield, I'm gonna save Shield for last Pokemon. And let's see what he have. And he have free Marina, Water type like, let's use the Leaf Blood. Almost take it off 50-60% of his health and we have like the Crobat. Poison Fang ready, so GG for us guys, you can see that's why I doesn't use my shield. So moving on to battle 2 with team 5, Premier Classic Crobat vs Excalibur. Again it's in good start for us because we got the air slash. So Ompet is like the bad start for us, but Excalibur is like the good start. Got the Shadow Ball, Drill and Magon doesn't do much effect. 
Let's use the shadow ball directly. I hope he doesn't use the shield. An opponent just used shield. He just switched to Impulence, so let's bring out our Sawfish. Use the Leaf Blade. Super effective against him because of water type. Not super effective because do some damage because of water. Let's use the shield and farm it on his health with the counter. Let's see what he bring. He bring his Togekiss. Let's use the Night Slash and he doesn't know I have like the wall in at the back. We got the attack rose, but surface is like the gone because of charm attack. Let's bring out Walden. And let's see what you got. Aerial is Asian power. Asian power super, but then also we just saw and we just carry. I just immediately switch to Excalibur to give it like charge move, and we just catch immediately to switch to our Crobat to catch his move. Let's use the poison running. I hope he uses shield. My opponent doesn't use his shield, but he got the defense well. I'm gonna use my shield and deliver one more poison fang. But aerial aerial slash like they do the work. Let's use the poison fang on Togekiss, and we just need to farm it down his health with the powder snow. So GG for us guys. The opponent just surrendered because you know can't win. So that's all for today video guys. That's all for today battle. Thanks for watching. So please do like, comment, share my video, and please subscribe to my channel.